Hi everyone, Bonnie here, and I know I posted a video yesterday, but I felt like I should come on and do this review for Isha, the activist witch here on YouTube. Now, I I don't really know Isha, but I watch her videos and I think she's amazing. Um, she talks a lot about feminism and patriarchy and capitalism and how it relates to the pagan perspective. And I think her her videos are awesome and I think she's an awesome person. Um, and I relate to her a lot um, with being disabled and a person of color and things like that. Being queer, being pagan, being we, she hits a lot of the same buttons I do. And, um, and I just absolutely adore her. Well, recently I asked, she, she has a coffee um, and I'll link her, I'll tag her on this video so that way you can check her out too. Um, she's got a coffee and she does tarot readings. So she's got options for what type of tarot reading you have, but she also has a low income option. And since I am a little on the, on the, on the budget side, I chose a low income one. And it's, it's a basic three to four card spread. Um, usually a fourth card is used for clarification, but it's a really basic spread. And I asked her, I didn't have a specific question in mind. I just asked her for general guidance. So as most of you know, um, back in April, I had to have my ex-husband arrested because he physically assaulted me while he was drunk. And these past several months have been hectic. Um, he has not been at home since. Um, he's been staying at a hotel. Um, he's no longer there um, because I was the one who was paying for it and I ran out of money. And um, even though I've had no contact with him, I was sending him money to help pay his hotel stay and his food and everything. Um, I know that wasn't my responsibility, but I felt bad and I wanted to help him the best I could and I can't help him anymore and I've come to the realization that it's his problem and he should be taking care of it himself, not me. Anyway, so Isha does, does not know all this. Um, she's watched a few of my videos, but I haven't been very candid with my situation. Um, I've just been kind of glossing over it every once in a while. Um, but I've, I've felt lost. Like, I, I felt confused and hurt, but mostly lost. Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Justin was a big part of my life, and I, I kind of put him on a pedestal and was in a point in my life where I believed I deserved the abuse, that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't a good mom, that I wasn't a good provider. Um, that was a lot of what was going on, and he made me feel that way. And I, when he left, um, I was kind of, I thought he was my support because he was always telling me he was trying to better me as a person, that he supported me and I believed that he did. A lot of times he did. He was, he's not a bad person. He just did bad things. Um, but it was, it was a very difficult time or it's been a very difficult time for me and I've been struggling and oh, I'm about to cry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so I, I got this, this low income. It's about five pounds, which is about seven bucks US. Uh, but um, Isha doesn't know me. She doesn't know my situation, but the cards that she pulled were just right on her interpretation of the reading was right on. She told me that I was going through a very hard time and that it was gonna seem very um, troublesome and that I would have to suffer a little bit, but that at the end of the tunnel, I would see the light and I would I would get through this in one piece, for lack of a better term. I don't know how else to explain it, but it was so right on. Like, she's, like she knew exactly what was going on without knowing what was going on. She's like, mate, I don't know. <laughs> she did make it a point. She's like, look, I don't know what you're going through kind of thing. But whatever you're going through, you will find your joy again. And I was so thankful for that because I've, like I've said, I've felt so lost. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm working two jobs. I'm raising 
four kids. I'm trying to get this shit together. I've, I have not been very good at adulting. I was diagnosed schizophrenic after I had my fourth child and that was back in 2012 and it's just been, a, it's, it's been chaos. My life has been chaos. Um, I've handled it a lot better than I thought I would, but it's been chaos. And seeing or reading Isha's reading was so empowering to me. So I thank you, Isha, for the reading and for taking your time and for keeping in touch with me. And I really appreciate it. So, guys, if you need a good reader, go visit Isha at her coffee shop. Um, she's got a link of it in her bio. Um, but yeah, I'll tag her in this video so she knows that I'm sending you to her. But she does; she did a phenomenal job, and I'm grateful to her. So anyway, that's just me rambling for the past six minutes. <laughs> but that is my review of Isha's tarot card reading that I purchased. And I'm very thankful for the guidance that she gave me. And I hope that you take into consideration having her do a reading for you because you will get a message that you really need. So you have a great day. Brightest blessings.